welcome to my very first YouTube video. I have no idea how it's going to turn out, but I had a couple people ask me a couple questions about some of the stuff that I've done. So I'm going to try and start off with just a couple things about draping. I by no means am an expert, but I figured maybe I can help some that are also just starting um, with some of the things that I just learned. So here we go. So this is my backdrop stand. It is not one of the standard silver ones. So um, don't take any effect to that piece because the process will still be the same if you have the traditional silver one. Um, so this is a single rod. Just going straight across. And um, some people were asking me how I did the double rod and what I meant. So again, same standard piece. Um, mine's is outfitted for my um, for my backdrop stand, but basically same thing with the silver ones. You would use this same piece, and you would just drop it right on in there. So here's my rod number two. And all I'm gonna do is take it and drop it in that front part. Mine's really tight. Again, I had mine's made, so mine's might be a little bit tighter than yours. But all you do is drop it on in there, and so now you have two rods instead of one. Okay, so we went ahead and loaded our drapes on. Um, I have two in the front and two in the back. So I have a simple satin in the back, simple chiffon in the front, and I'm just going to show you what I mean by um, fanning out the drapery. So all I did was just grab two ribbons, and so I'm going to make an X. I'm going to take this in the front, and I'm going to cross it over here. And I'm just going to tie it back over here. Now I'm doing anything fancy. I'm just going to tie it, call it a day. I'm going to do the same with this over here. I'm going to tie it. Uh-oh. Where did she use this one? <laughs> and I'm going to tie this one. Now. You could leave your look like this if this is what you want to do. This is what you're going for. And you want it to be like kind of tighter like that. Then you can absolutely do it that way. But what I meant by fanning it out is so that these two in the front can be thicker. So what you'll do is you'll pull from the bottom. Find where your bottom seam is. And you'll kind of just... Loosen it up and you know, let it fall. Okay, if you didn't tie your ribbon too tight, you know, you can tighten it back up, that's fine. And then, in order to get it to get back tighter, you're going to take this top seam, find it in here, and you want to pull that one tighter. So now you've got this drape look, but the top is a little bit tighter, which is creates that fan look. And if you fanned it a little too much, then you just find that bottom and you can pull that one again. And so then I'm going to go ahead and do the other side so I can figure out how much fanning I want. So again, I'm going to pull out that bottom, bottom, and I'm going to tighten the top, tighten the bottom a little bit because I did a little too much fanning. And so there. Is about where I think I want it. I'm gonna step back and see. So this side, so you can see where my X is. It's not quite in the middle. Once I get in the middle, so now I'm gonna tighten it some more. So if you move it, tighten it up a little bit more. So you see how pulling certain directions of the drape will will pull in different places so that's about more where i want it this x is a little off centered i would want to center it off a little bit more maybe pull this side a little bit more you want your x to fall the right way see how i got really skinny i'm gonna just fan it back out again I'm going to start by pulling this top part so that it can fan more of a... So I want this side to be droopy and this kind of goes to be thicker on that side. So I'm going to pull 
this side a little bit more. I'd say that's about where I would want it. So I would say that pretty much kind of gives me that fan look that I was looking for. <laughs> 